Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's time again for another knife of the day. Today, I figured I'd show another one of my custom knives. Out of the 400 and something knives, I have, I don't know, maybe 10 customs. I got a bonus one time from work, a lot of bonus money. And I just went crazy on custom knives. I never owned a custom knife, so I got about five of them. Blew the whole bonus check on it. <laughs> um, and this is one of them. It's the Tom Mayo Hawkbill Blade with wonderful Damascus. I don't know the name of this Damascus. I bought it from Arizona Custom Knives. ArizonaCustomKnives.com is a wonderful website. Obviously, they are not sponsoring this. But they go to all of the shows. They buy from people. They do co-signments. A lot of them come straight from the makers. This came straight from Tom Mayo after, I believe it was the 2016 Blade Show. And so I saw it. For some reason, guys... My focus has been going in and out, and I don't know why. It's real frustrating. So I'm just going to go through this. This is the third time I tried to do this. I hope focus gets better. Um, I do this right before work, and so it's already set me back a lot of time. So we're going to go through it, and I'll fix it on the next one. Anyway, this is a custom Tom Mayo, and... Um, they got it at Blade Show straight from him. They didn't tell me what the Damascus is, but man, this is a beautiful Tom Mayo. I like Hawkbill blades, and this is not an overly Hawkbill blade, and it also has some special things besides that beautiful Damascus blade. Ah, I wish my focus was better. Look at that beautiful Damascus blade. And it's a slight hot bill blade. I have not carried it, have not, scared to. <laughs> Didn't want to mess it up. And you can see, it doesn't have jimping, but it does. You can see the layers if my doggone focus would work. You see the layers of layers of the steel that made up the Damascus. This is an interesting blade. So obviously it's sharp on the bottom. And if you look at it, you can kind of see that it's kind of full sharp on the top until it gets, so you can see it, right? It looks like it's double. It can be double, uh, but it looks like it is. This is kind of full until you get to about this point right here. And it's sharpened going to the tip, which if this is a work knife, it's great. Gives you a lot of punction, but especially if it's a tactical knife. So he sharpened it right there. Hand sharpened, of course. Everything is totally mayo and hand sharpened. But I like that part of it. I like that it's not here, but around here, he sharpened it on both sides, obviously, the back is the bottom is sharp as well and then when you go well that could be kind of dangerous well here's the great part too so here's the tie handles you know you get the tom mayo holes going through the titanium on the show side and on the back side of course the frame lock is left alone but if you look at this first of all when it's open oh i I love craftsmen. I'm not one of them. <laughs> I don't care what you make. <laughs> if you make clay ashtrays, I appreciate the fact that you make it by hand. This, of course, Tom Mayo. I'm not a huge historian on knife makers, but I know of him. So it fits nice. You've got the four choyo. Everything fits nice on the back. You've got a pull, especially since you've got Hawkbill blade right here. Yes, I know. It goes out of focus and then it goes in. I apologize, guys, but I have to get this done. I'm already running late. Um, let me see if I can lock the good focus. But when you look at it, remember, this is faux. It's not sharpened. You can kind of see how it's faux sharpened. But the sharpened part 
it, you're protected from it. It's in this higher part of the Thai scales. You see that? So there's no way it's in there. There's no way you're going to get touched. Easy to carry. You won't mess with your hand there. It's deep in there too. It's not close to the top. Really nice. I like that. That yeah, it is sharpened on that side, but that sharpened part, you're protected from it when you carry it. I like it. 3.5 inch blade. Of course, that wonderful Damascus. If you guys know what kind of Damascus that is, I'd really love to know. This, of course, is probably one of those special Blade Show knives. You know, Blade Show is happening. I'm recording this in 2018. It usually happens in June. I see everyone preparing on my Instagrams for Blade Show, and a lot of the makers do special knives for the shows, and I'm assuming this is one of them. But if there's more information that one of you, Tom Mayo, knows about this, let me know. It's just perfect, of course, mint condition, because I haven't messed with it at all. Um, so 3.5 inches, we talked about the sharpen on both sides when you get to the tip and that full sharpen, you see, which I really like. Of course, I'm a huge Spydeco fan. This is not a Spidey opening, of course, but you open it kind of like that one hand opening, which I love. See-through construction. Oh, it just... It molds to your hand, so it's kind of molded. Not, you know, um, so it's not flat scales. I don't know if you see it. It's rounded scales, and everything else is rounded. There's not a sharp edge on these on this handle, which makes it just wonderful. Yeah, frame lock locks up great on the Damascus. The clip, it's only right hand tip up, which for me is beautiful, but it is right hand tip up. Of course, it has a hole on both sides that you can open it using either hand. I thought you'd like this custom knife, and I liked giving it some breathing room. Just a wonderful handmade custom from Tom Mayo. It's a hawkbill blade. What what really got me excited is I never, I kept looking and lusting after a Tom Mayo, never had a chance to buy one. Would I have done Hawkbill Blade if they had something else of this quality and not Hawkbill? I would have loved it, but I wanted that Damascus Blade. And I didn't even know that it was sharpened on, on both sides when you get to about here. But I love how he handles it in the handle to protect you or me. There you have it. That's the knife of the day. It's a custom. Back-to-back -back customs. If you didn't see my custom yesterday, go check it out. This, my friends, if we can get it to focus. Ah, there we go. It's my Tom Mayo Hawkbill custom, full custom with the Damascus blade. Bought it from Arizona custom knives i bought a couple four custom knives from arizona custom knives just in perfect they were all new and from the custom maker and just beautiful i've got two pinnas we'll we'll, we'll show you those as well um, as we go through this series but i thought you'd like to see my special tom mayo hey if you're enjoying i i, I figured i put this against my two riddled uh, Chris Reeve Sabenzas, the large Sabenza 21 and the small Sabenza 21. You know, it's my holy <laughs> combination of knives. Also gives you a chance to see the size of the mayo. If you're enjoying this daily look at my collection, the knife of the day, Thumb it up. Let me know that you're out there. I apologize for all of the focus problems. You know, it's hot here, and then I'm running the air conditioning now. I think the change has done something to my uh, iPhone. 
But if you're enjoying this daily Monday through Friday look at the collection, don't forget to thumb it up. Subscribe, that really helps me. And turn on your notifications so that you know when I do um, some videos. Hey, take some time away from social media. Spend some time alone with yourself. You know, as men, and most 99% of you who watch this channel are men, um, just sometimes we just need some alone time to deal with us. So do that. Trust me, it'll make you a better father, friend, husband, whatever. Uh, I discovered that way too late, about five years ago, because I was always go, 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 go. And uh, so I was less than all of those things. I want you to be more than. You take care of yourselves and others. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.